welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I am the two-time, two-time, the boxing award winning the boxing. I am still the one-time, the boxing award winning artistic chef, David Leahy. And I hear today, on this video, there's a lot at stake. Yes, there is. We're doing something very special today. We're doing steak cookery. Yep. For a couple reasons why. One, I wanted to do this video for a while. Two, it's it's been seven years with my with my my wife partner. Seven, we've been together seven years, and two years now it's our actual it's our wedding anniversary, officially three years, and we actually had to pay this asshole to be at our wedding. Yep. Yes, we did. Yeah, as much as, much as I like you, it's like, nah, you're paying me to do that. I'm I'm sorry. Just the, the, anyone who's like done professional like photography or videography, yeah, there's a lot. Lot and and, de and just so we're clear, like all the money ends up going towards um, one year. Uh, yeah, uh, I used about three hundred towards uh, some lenses, Ooh, and nice. the other two hundred I actually made sure to like really uh, get like uh, was for the USBs because the company I ordered from they required like a fifty dollar insurance, which is Aww. like which for me was like so much. That's yeah, it, 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 like fifty like you just spend ten dollars fifty dollar insurance, you feel like. A thousand dollars, like fifty dollars for insurance, but uh, but yeah, I mean, I made sure to get like really good quality. Oh yeah, they're one good. because it's like three point zero USB. It was um, uh, so like obviously I have to get the proper size. Like if I yeah, if, if, it, if it's like a, like an eight point four gigabyte file, then you're you can't use an eight gigabyte flash drive. Right? Yeah, you'd yeah. have to get a sixteen gigabyte for that one too. That's that. So right we're right. doing a really hardcore. Uh, this is for the hardcore cookie today. The, the painting thing for the hardcore cookies. Yeah, we're gonna. It's gonna be fun. So. Oh yeah. I'm doing uh, my I'm doing New York strip with chorizo hash, uh, creme onion gravy, my dad's here bernays, some roasted vegetables, and then uh, potato straw and the macaroni on top. So and you're doing yours with. Ah, uh, so I'm gonna be using uh, spinach, uh, matchstick carrots, and some of the uh, potato straws. So All right. I'm keeping mine a little bit more basic. He's the one who went to school, so he's obviously going to be a lot fancier. So like, like cooking, so like obviously I'm gonna be the one who knows more about like uh, camera gear, and he's gonna be the one who knows more about cooking. Yep. And I'm gonna be very blunt about how I how you cook your steaks, folks. So yep. follow these rules, and you will be golden. First thing first, though, we got veggies. We got red, yellow pepper, red pepper. Uh, Brussels sprouts, radishes, sorry, I bumped the uh, thing here. Baby carrots, they've been cut into pieces, coated with a little onion, a little bit of uh, salt, pepper, and garlic oil. And in they go. We also, we have some potatoes here as well, we're cooking here. A little new potatoes here, a little thyme, salt, pepper, and a little more garlic oil. First, let's start on our hash. More garlic oil, because I'm just a, just a fucking fiend. Now, is this your first time telling us, or are you just rehashing information? Uh, ha ha ha. Kill me now, please, God. You did not think you were going to get away without bad jokes, did, did you? Hell no. Shit. Someone has to save the, save our bacon. <laughs> oh God, kill me, please, please, God, kill me, <laughs> please, show me, for the love of God. Oh, back here we have a gravy in the back here. It's basically, uh, caramelized onions with uh, gravy with uh, brown gravy mix. I kind of cheated a little bit. A but not toffee ice onions. Ah, uh, oh jeez. So and also there's also a little Worcestershire sauce in there, a little bit of thyme as well. So I'll give it some like a classic gravy kind of thing. I gotta modify it slightly. And then over here we have my dad's cheetah bernays. And this, lots of free mayo, mustard, Worcestershire sauce, lemon juice, and then tarragon. This is a recipe my dad taught me for years. I've used this recipe for ages. I love this recipe. Rest in peace, Dad. 
So we're going to caramelize the hell out of our bacon, our bacon here. Take us a few minutes. Just got to wait. Just got to wait for it. Which we can do except for wait for it. So I guess Bernays is probably best made cold. Because it's Bernays. Yes. Got our heat on high here. We got our gravy on. Oh, so that heat is smoking marijuana now. Yep. And it's high. God, kill me now. Please, God. If you're there, please smite me. For the love of God, smite me, damn it. He smite or he smite not. <laughs> Alright, that's it. Fucking shit. Alright, that's it. Fucking shit. Gonna, one more joke, I'm actually gonna do it. No, I won't. No, I won't, I won't, I won't. David's not gonna do that. He's not that stupid. Oh, God. So keep the fat. You know, and also, best part about this is the fat that you the flavor. So you now you got. Now we're going to see how garlic and bacon, and bacon uh, grease here, which is even better, right? Flavors everything. Garlic and bacon. Num, num, num. That's it. So let it set for a second. Let it kind of render down a little bit. Take a few minutes. So, you know, we hear about bacon, but we never hear about bake off. Uh, I don't want to, I don't want to see, we don't want to have any fires or anything, so, we don't have any incident, like, like last time, we, we, I deep fried. Yep, Wait. remember that. Shush, yeah. I was we don't talk about that, do we? Nope. Never. Uh, it's like the midichlorians in Star Wars. We don't talk about the midichlorians. Or a little Bruno. We don't talk about Bruno. Like Bruno, we don't talk about Bruno anymore. If you ever seen um Disney movie. Oh and you said Bruno, my first thought was San Martino. No, it's uh the Disney movie. Yeah, we love song we talk about Bruno. Can't remember the name of the name of the movie at this time. So to render down, see it's starting to get brown already. I hear he went to Mars. Mars. Bruno Mars. Oh, God. Here you add a freezer in. Mm -hmm. Love So is Ezo gonna sweep the floors? No chore, Ezo. Oh God. I am about this this close to choking a bitch. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm not really them. <laughs> Dave's gonna choke a bitch eventually. No, I won't. Choke out. Ho! Kind of that, that brown little bit. Just almost ready here. Going around to. Just want, want a little more color on the on the chorizo here. See bacon's rendered down nicely. Look at that. Look at the bacon. Don't really need to render it down. You want like you want like nice pieces, right? You can you want to be able to chew into it. You know what? Let's add our veggies. Screw it. Veggie time. Stop. Veggie time. Do 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 do. Can't peel this. Can't peel this. Stop. Veggie time. Holy shit, the whole house. For breakfast, this will be good for breakfast, right? Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. How with a runny egg on top, maybe little sausages, maybe little hash browns. Oh wait, they're attaching this. What the hell am I doing? 
going full week, going full R word today. Dirt. And time for potato time. Potato time. I was gonna start talking about the Ravens and this Edgar Allen potato. Uh, and yes, we will be. I will be hosting that one again around Halloween. It. I do every year. That will be coming back. And my soul from that shadow, and I floating on the floor, shall be lifted, never more. <laughs> so where did I learn to love the Raven? Any guesses, anyone? Uh, your dad? No, that was um, Richard Sam McGee. I love the Raven from uh, watching it from The Simpsons. First Simpsons Halloween episode, they did the Raven. Yeah. And that's why I fell in love with it. So? Uh, so when, when he first wrote that, I heard everyone was just raving about it. Uh, a little salt, not too much. A little pepper, 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 pepper. Pepper, pepper, pepper. Did you, find, did you find that on Grouse Mountain? The Grouse Grind? Oh, Grouse Grind. That's good. I like that one. That's a good one. There you go. That's good. I like that one. Also, if you want to get really fancy here, I'm going to add this in because why the fuck not? So there's also garlic, um, slices of garlic in there. And we're also we're using the uh, Russian uh, purple garlic, which is amazing. We use garlic butter. Throw a, throw a good. So I guess people are rushing to get that purple garlic. Yes, it's it's in season right now. But is it in Ocean Daughter? Season Ocean Daughter. Ah, oh, jeez. I get it. I get it. Oh God. God damn it! You're on a roll today. Let's check on our veggies here. Veggies look good. Oops. Oops. So, let's do this. This can go into the back. Let's just cook away in the back. Now for the fun part. Less steaks. Steaks are high in this one, as you had said earlier. Yep. Here's let this cook in the back, just um, Want to get a nice color on uh, on the potatoes? Make sure to store it in a few minutes. So, your steak, oil. Now, there's a few little tricks for doing uh, for doing steak cookery. Ah. So when you cook a steak, you want your pan screaming bloody hot, like almost smoking. If you can get smoking without without getting the uh, without setting off the uh, fire alarm, fire alarm, you're good. That's how we do it in restaurants. You want a smoking ass hot pan. And no, don't be intimidated. Just because it's smoking hot doesn't mean you should be intimidated by it either. It's not good. I'll just babysit it like a, get the babysit though. I'll just babysit it, it will not set on fire. But just be careful. Just be careful when you're doing it so, because you never know, right? And I'm probably like, Things like this, I'm probably one of the most hated people. I'm actually a well done steak guy, oh, so. I'm gonna add one more thing to our hash here. Green onions. More onions. I need more onions. I need more bloody onions. More bloody onions. More bloody onions. Here we go. We can cut that out.
it's gonna taste good. I mean, his steak first, but he likes his, um, well done. You may tell me I'm a douchebag in the comments section. I'm not gonna come say anything. They eat their own, right? As a chef, I have to be unbiased because I'm a chef. I, I, and some people like to say, well done. So I have to be unbiased. Add some butter to it. If you want it, butter to it, the base. Well, well ready. Now, if that's the, if that's the bread hard of butter, if it's the base there is, base there was, and base there ever will be, Oh, oh, oh. <coughs> oh I, I like that one. That's good. That was good. So the marinade for the steak are micro steak spice, thyme, salt, and pepper, and then um, then garlic oil and, and garlic. That's it. So, here's tip number one: when you're cooking your steak, do not touch your steak. You let it cook. You let it sear. You do not touch it. You don't play with it. You want to get crust. So you stay, keep it in the pan. Maybe if you need to give it like a quick look. And that's so, you do not, you let it just sit in the pan and sear. Pan and sear. You want it. It's really fancy. You can do this. You can. your steak here. Take it away from you and base it. There you go. You see the hash here? You get a nice color on, uh, on the potato. You want to get nice color on that potato. I'm trying to get that already. See? You're already getting color on that. Make our sauce here. Sauce, you don't need to um, you need to heat it up just slightly. You don't need to be like sweet, like smoking hot. This one, even a, even like a little bit warm, it's just good. So I wonder how we're gonna say your juice bag in the in the comments. I'm, be, I'm gonna let's make a bet. How we're gonna say your juice bag in the comments for like your steak well done. Hmm. I don't know how many. Probably get a couple. I don't have many followers, I'm only like 14 followers, I don't have many followers, so. It's so very small as one of them For all the smoke for all the smoking I've done, like I'm probably gonna have like like major cancer right now, lung cancer at least. On smoking I do. Hmm. All those ribs, all that shoulder, all that sausage, a little cheese. I love smoked cheese. One of my weaknesses is smoked cheese. Reggiano is one of my favorites. Smoked Parmesan Reggiano, it is like, I don't know what it is, but it's just it's something about it makes me it, it like just drool. A little more. So, tip number two. You want to sear it all four sides here. So. Pulls up like this. Do that side. I'm gonna tear all the juices in the, on that side of a bit. Don't be intimidated by your, your frying pan, cast iron frying pan. If you want to do, if you're going to do proper steak, I recommend a cast iron frying pan like this. I, I, 
So is it like a, a white mage or a black mage in RGZ? It's gonna cast iron. Uh, oh, I guess in Skyrim that would be like that would be alteration magic. I play Magic the Gathering now. I've gotten Magic the Gathering, so there you go. I play that stuff. Look at that! Look at that crust. See that crust? That's what we want. All that crust is good. You can shut some of the fat off it too if you want to get really fancy. A little more on this side though. All right, first steak. In. All right, at it. Check our veggie. Ooh, look at the veggies. Yeah, those are ready. Oh yeah, look at that. See? Brussels sprouts, look at that. See that little color on the Brussels sprouts? Perfect. Those are ready to go. Let's do the other steaks now, folks. More oil. See how she stays here. If people will watch uh, my uh, see my Instagram post from um, May, this is the exact same area I used for when I did the uh, steak for my dad's uh, for the uh, dinner for my dad. Exact same, uh, this is the exact same marinade. Oh, also, big thank you to Benetti's uh, in Landy for this steak, this monster. Yes, thank you. So, how is Ms. May? Pardon? How is Ms. May? Ms. May? Mary May. Oh, jeez. So, see, look at that. You know, touch the steak, you let it just sit. Now that your steak is almost done. Of course it's gonna sit. It has no legs. It can't stand. We call uh one with no arms, no legs. Ground beef? Patty. Mm. Patty. That's horrible. Probably turn up our sauce here a little bit. Oh, because we're doing, uh, we also got in here, we're cutting them. Potato wedges. We're going to do these on the, in the uh, right now. Air fry these. We got wedges for him, air fried, and then we got me undoing the hash. A lot of people talk about, uh, a lot of people go for like curly fries as like their number one. I Like at least with the people I talk to, but I'm a savory wedges guy. I love me some savory wedges. Wedges are good. I love, uh, I love egg potatoes. I love egg potatoes. Meat potatoes kind of guy. Hi potatoes, how are you? Meat and potatoes. Meat potatoes. Ah, oh, oh, yeah, and potatoes. I can cook the potato. There you go. There's a few foot joke. I can cook the potato. Yay! I can cook the potato. Yay! There, ableist joke. Add a little more, gut, more butter to this. Guys, what the hell? It's gonna go straight to your butt, sir. Yep, that's right. Hello, we need 5,000 pounds by the time I'm 60. Oh well, screw it. 
to enjoy myself when I'm 60, you know, 560. Enjoy myself. Oh, we also have I got the garnish. Potato straw for garnish. So there you go. Should be ready to go. Yeah, you're ready to go. So, uh, <coughs> I'm gonna go on the camera here. This is gonna plate. Alright, guys. Okay, just go. Cheers. Okay, so we have our. So we have our here. Boom. Let's get. He didn't drop the salt, and then bad luck. Double salt is bad luck, right? Right. And what happened to my Here, right back there? Right there, buddy. Here we go. Right there. Right. And here, close. Here we go. Turn the plate now. Oh, don't get your wedges behind you too. In the, in the, uh... Oh, that's the side, so we would get the steak on first, right? Yep. Okay. Uh... Goat carrots. It looks like a little sour almost. Kind of, right? Yeah. Healthy. Yep. So, probably because I do want to, like, sort of... I'm heavily doing it this way because I want to have, like, sort of, um... Like, the orange bit and then sort of, like, trailing down. It, it, it goes, like, more from heavy orange to heavy green. It's, it, it gives that sort of, um... There's a close-up here. Yep. Uh, like, it, it goes from one color to another. Alright, here we go. It's good. And then uh, the uh, these potato straws, well, I'll, I will put on top. And I'm also deliberately piling up here as well. Because I want to give it sort of like that, instead of it just being flat, yeah. I want it to sort of like almost a bit of a tilt. Give it some, give it some, uh, how about can I give it some height to the plate? Yes. Yes, because remember, you eat with your eyes before you eat with you the, your mouth. You do, absolutely. Yeah, so even though I'm doing it simple, I am putting some thought into how I present it. Yep. It looks so good so far. It looks good. Yeah, so let's make it this, so that way it's coming down a little bit more. And I'll put it in. Drink a little bit. Turn it into a TikTok. A disco? Okay. That'll be fun. Yep. So I've done this before and did this before and I got a lot of follow a lot of um like um a lot of uh, people who watched the video I didn't actually show my actually show my fat ass on in, in the camera. Yeah, because I, I actually find that our TikTok seems to do better when we physically appear on them. Yeah. I know, yeah. Whereas <laughs> the food porn is more uh, like the food itself is um better for Instagram. And like when we're actually talking about it and, and we're showing mm -hmm. our faces, yeah, uh, that seems to be more the TikTok vibe. I guess we can put it. This mug here is the ugly, the scariest thing in, in our our area of Langley. <laughs> yeah, I know I am. And this ugly mug is the scariest thing in all in all of recorded history. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I didn't think of worse, but I don't want to go that far. All right, what's next, buddy? Um, What's that, uh, Chef? Okay, so uh, am I putting the steak on now? Or? Yeah, you can do it again. Yep. Okay. Tongs. Okay, so, this sort of thing. Just 
take on. Yep, there you go. Oh, just on there. That's good. Okay, so in this case, now that we have the steak on there, I am going to split a little bit extra spinach tenders there to give it a more... Just to make it a little bit more... Yeah, just because you, like, you want it to come all the way around, right? Yep. Good. And finally, a little bit of the potato <laughs> straw. That's just um, potato, oh, uh, yellow, um, yellow potato or a Yukon gold potato that's been uh, crumbled, that's been uh, sliced with a mandolin into uh, matchsticks. Yep. So again, we're like we're thinking about height as yeah, well. Yeah, height for the plate, absolutely. Look at that. That looks pretty. Looks good. Looks good. And you're doing your wedges, behind you? Okay, so the wedges are in here. Yep. They cook properly. Those yep. Like them. Chef. Yep. Yes, sir. I'm told cool these on. I, 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 I'm respectful. Yes, chef. We chef. There we go. Look at that. Okay, so just enough space. Nice. Look at that. Full plate. Look at that. Like, holy shit. I might still fry though. Go ahead. Yoink. Yoinkity, yoink, yoink, yoinkity, yoink, yoink. So here we go. Oh, just. Look at that. Yep. You, play, you present it in such a way where you get that little bit of. Um, you got the steak. You got, and then of course you have the potatoes rising up right behind it. Yeah. You got right. your uh, spinach, carrot, and your potato straw on top. Looks good. All right, so that looks fantastic, Chef. Bravo. Thank you. Now it's time for the hardcore yep. part of our, our filming now. All right, guys. So, I'm gonna kind of ask you to please, uh, you please the side for a second. So I'd have to do that too there. Right here. Right here, Blake. So first, let's get our steaks out. So I can figure out what it is. Where in the hell did I oh they're right here. I'm such a moron. Good grief. Do 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 do. Yep. So, uh, how do you and Ruby like your steak? I'm a medium, she's a medium well, she's like a medium. I'm a uh, medium rare kind of guy, I'm a medium rare guy. I like a medium rare. That's me though. Oh, sorry. <laughs> bump into the bump. Bump into the bump bump. ba dum ba dum bump bump. First things first, we're gonna wipe our plates. Something I learned while, while, while I'm currently working, always wipe your plates. I'm kinda picky about this now, even for me, I'm picky about this. No fingerprints, nothing. First things first. Gonna... With our caramelized onion gravy here. Basically just, just um, gravy mix with caramelized onions. But whatever, right? Mm -hmm. Nice circle around the edge. And the gravy. <sighs> and the gravy. In the gravy, jeez, I'm curl. There you go. Well, that's one sauce. Uh, something that I learned in culinary school: out the sauce, cover the multitude of sins. So, 
Don't be afraid to use, to use sauce if you need to. If you've made a little mistake, you can use sauce to your advantage. So, someone taught me that. And also sauce covers the multitude of sins. So now, we do a scoop over a hash, right in the middle. I'm gonna keep it really tight, if you can get tight, tight as possible. And keep it in the sauce if you can. If not, not gonna, not perfect, don't add, not gonna kill you if not perfect, right? But hey, I'm just very picky about how I left my plating. Nice and tight. Now for vegetables. Bell pepper. Bell pepper. They're trying to basically identical. A pepper. You can ring my bell, pepper. Ring my bell. Got some carrots. Yep, carrots. Brussels sprouts. I love Brussels sprouts. Love Brussels sprouts. Just put them for color. This is how we would cook. We uh, plate some of our stuff at at, uh, at my work here. So I'm going for here, kind of like with like something like that. And last but not least. A roasted radish. Look at that radish. I know it looks weird to have radish, but trust me, you 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 try roasted radish once, you'll you'll love it. Mm -hmm. I I became a fan of it through uh, through my work. When I was a kid, I wanted to be rad. Now I settle for being radish. So we now got our steak down. Just a little bit of sauce on top. That's a little visual there, look at that. Then we have our potato straw on top. Greens. No micro blues or micro yellows? No, or no, no micro reds either. That's one plate. That's for the missus. This is my plate. I'm gonna put myself on the. I have expectations of myself are very high whenever I cook like this. A little more sauce, a little dabble do you? That evolved into yabba dabba do if you want to know anyone who knows their. Uh, Flintstones. Flintstones, yeah. Little dabble D, and that, that evolved into the term yabba dabba do.
Okay. Get a straw on top. Oh. Holy shnikey, look. look at that. Is that pretty or what? Yep. God damn. I'm gonna say it. God damn. Now, finish it. Finish it. Do my, my best Mortal Kombat impression. The little Michael Greens. Finish her. Alright, that's good. Alright, folks, so this is it. Steak dinner. New York steak, Cheeto hash, roasted vegetables, caramel onion gravy, Cheeto sauce bernays, pale straw, and microgreens. And on this plate here, we have spinach, matzo carrots, steak, New York steak, pale straw, and savory wedges. Yep. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to help you a little bit. I'm going to help you a tiny bit. I'm going to give you a little more. More height. Just help you out a little bit more there. Just a little more. So I give you a little hands. Hope you don't yeah. mind. Yeah, no problem. Nope. So, folks, that is. Thank you guys for watching. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys for watching. Please support the channel. Our uh, channels are um, our, social me our socials. You guys for watching much appreciated we will be back again probably september you think whenever we have time whenever we have time so folks um until next time i'm the assistant chef dale Leahy. and i am the two time two time the box of the wing the box head like uh like our video subscribe to our channels like you said our socials x instagram TikTok. uh thank you for watching thank you Bye, everyone. Um, one, one more thing. Oh, and also to my wife, happy anniversary, love. Meow, meow, meow. Bye. Bye, everyone.